If you're used to just going one, two, three, four, five on all your reps, you are losing the fitness game. That is not the goal. That's being a rep counter, not a fatigue feeler. And we're all back for work at 46, the pyramid scheme. I said we're back to regular sets and rep structures. We just came from Harry Squatter. Like I said, fitness is a life sentence, or at least it should be. So we gotta have some fun along the way. But today, straight to the facts, straight to the basics. Let's hit the board and just get hard into this one quick. We have two parts today. The first section is gonna be our warm up. It is the pyramid structure rep climbing scheme. We're gonna go from one rep to eight reps. We're in our hinge and press patterns today. So we're gonna do swings with kettlebells or dumbbells. We're gonna swing, clean the weight up, press. You start with one, 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 then you have to do two, two, and two, and it goes all the way to eight. I have no, law, no idea how long it's gonna take, but it's awful. After that, we drop straight down to push up, one push up, flip over, toe tap, toe tap. On the next round, two push up, flip over, one, one, two, two. So you see how it stacks. You can go pyramid schemes down to one. Those are always seem a little mentally easier. Pyramid schemes up, higher, 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 just is awful. And I'll always add quick modifications, always if you need to. Dumbbells will act a little differently than kettlebells. Push-ups, you're all pros by now, so you know exactly what height you need to be doing your strict push-ups at. All good. Part two is four sets, 10 reps. Deadlift, chest, fly, V-sit crunch. You can do more V-sit crunch or I'll be flipping over into a towel slide crunch. So we go 10 and 10 or you're doing 20 V-sits. That's how easy it is. When it looks easy on the board, it may not be easy for you doing the workout. And remember, deadlifts, I've showed you the band. You can do banded kettlebell deadlifts, that's brutal. Maybe I'll do my first set that way. I have the bars, so I'm gonna use them. Use what you have at home. Flies always stay light, especially for these super long levers here. So that's gonna always hurt. And then core on the ground, do what you want if you don't wanna do what I'm doing, but follow my structure. Here we go for the warm up, and then we're into this. Okay, for the warm up, mat on the ground, two little dumbbells, we'll just press warm up with them, and we're gonna put our toes on them for those Jefferson curls, and then bonus, the band is looped up high for our distraction, pec openers, it's one click of a link, you have three of these for the rest of your life. So if you don't have these bands yet, gotta get on that, come on. Otherwise, you're just holding on to something, putting your hand on the wall, copy along. Let's start side lying, and we'll open up the mid spine, low spine with our big arm rotation. So pin knees to ground, reach for that alarm clock, you gotta really roll the rib cage, and we're drawing the biggest circle we can, keeping fingers stuck to the floor. So glued, I hit everything in my way here, but you're glue, 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 glue. Keep that contact all the way around. Like I said, it's super rare, but if you're really mobile, you drop the bottom leg straight. That intensifies the range. I can't even come close right now, so I stay double knee tucked. <sighs> And if you really love warm-ups, maybe you play me back at half speed and you can do a lot more reps. <sighs> Otherwise, we just rip. That's good enough that side. Switch over, same thing. Pin the knee, reach for the alarm clock. Roll and open. Come through, reset, reach. <sighs> Big open floor space would be great for this or not having a four foot long arm. That's great. And something I was doing earlier is just a little C rock in a ball. So let's just stay in a tight ball. This would be the easiest version of C rock. And we'll just do 10 little rocks to help the spine loosen up. So it's just back and forth, stay rigid. Two, you're the bottom of a rocking chair. You can go all the way up, way back, as far as you want, touch the heel. But usually you get a good little crack or release of the spine doing this. Three, two, helps you train to stay rigid as well. One, good, and we'll flip over. Our lovely cat cows, hands and knees, flexion. 
Extension. Nice and slow on these. Droop the head. Extend. Droop. Extend. Ooh. And then we're going to go into our T-spine twist. Ah, no, we're not going to go T-spine twist because we kind of already warmed that up on the ground. So leg straight out to the side. Let's do our sit backs. This toe can come up to ceiling if you can get it there. And you just sit back at that hamstring, kind of inner groin to loosen up. This is especially good for all the sumo stance squatters. I've said it before, if you're tall or tight, sumo is always better. If you have just one heavy kettlebell or two kettlebell for deadlifts, that's, their stance is always going to be sumo for the most part. More comfortable, so uh, i got to warm up this position. And then before we move on, brace we've done this once before Ugh. we're gonna try stiff leg lift and the toe now touches floor lift touch two three four five you're gonna feel a muscle you've never worked before in your life six start to burn seven eight hopefully not seize nine ten eleven twelve nice good enough for me next side Workout 46, my goodness. Think of yourself at workout one and how far you've come. We're almost at 50. I have some ideas. 50 is an easy number to work, work around. We're doing our leg lifts, three. We've done our filthy 50 workouts, part one and two, way earlier on. I can maybe play off that theme and intensify it. 11, 12, good. Matt goes away. Mike spins around. Okay, a little Jefferson curl. So your two little dumbbells are something to stilt your toes onto. You're gonna pop your toes up. Normally I use my slant board and I can hold on to this weight and help it weigh me down, but we're just kind of in our beginner phases. So let's just start body weight. Let's back this up. Okay, we're just toes up. That's gonna make the hamstrings pull way earlier. We roll the chin, segmented roll the spine one vertebrae at a time. I actually flex my core to pull me down. Stiff legs, I get stuck there. You work up, no bending the knees. So if you're way high, just be honest, keep your legs flexed. That's important. Up. Remember that magic number is 12 reps. You'll be amazed how much further you can reach after 12 reps of doing this. Okay, no more talking. Keep your core flexed. We're not doing a passive gravity doing our stretch. We're flexing and trying to push in back out use a little bit of force otherwise you'd be holding dumbbells and dumbbells will help weigh you down four more three the toe has been touched now i can grab the toes oh, awesome now if you go to flat floor and check holy crap Suddenly you're a gymnast, sorry, John. Okay, these go to the side. Distraction and dumbbell pressings left. So we're gonna do the pec opener, loop into the band or just hold on to something. Open the chest up, fall away, and get a little rotation in the wrist. Ten, it's usually just 10 reps, 11, 12 we'll go for today. Again, if you're going slow, slow video, you like the longer warm-up, do all 10 positions. Sorry, all four positions for 10 reps because they really help open up anyone tight for the overhead position. Seven, 
8, 10, 11, 12. Good. Otherwise, if you have a high bar, boom. The ultimate overhead position is the hang. If you just spend time hanging, feet assisted on the ground, you'll get that perfect overhead press pattern. So last thing to do here, two dumbbells at the same time, pressing if you're really tight, just do one dumbbell, be a cheerleader. Let's go for it. We'll do six super neutral straight press. One, two, three. This requires the most mobility. Four, five, six. Let's open it up 45 degrees. One, two, a little easier. Most comfortable for most. Good. And then we'll open it right up. This would be almost a barbell grip, nice and wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Warm up's over. Okay, you're going to set up with heavier two dumbbells if you have them, two kettlebells if you have them, and a mat, I guess, if you want it for the push up and the toe tap. We're back into the pyramid scheme. Next. Okay, we're into part one, the pyramid scheme reps one to eight. I'm doing kettlebells, dumbbells will look a little differently. You can still kind of swing them between your legs or swing them to the outside to get them up. Let's go for it. This video's on the side for referencing the dumbbells. Here we go for the kettlebells. Swing, clean, press, one time only. One swing, clean it, press. We can go strict. I'm gonna use push press just to save us for endurance. Down, good. And then we drop down to push up or go to your incline. One push up, and then I always keep my mat beside me so I can do the roll, lay down, one toe tap, one toe tap, and that's round one. We're getting back up, just keep the momentum going. Two swings. One, two, Clean once, twice, one press, two press. Keep it tidy, keep it clean. Two push up, one, two. Roll over onto the mat to protect your butt. One, one, two, two. Going to three. Got no time limit on this section, so. Go as long as you need and then catch up to the video later on the water break. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three push. One, Two, three, rolling over. One, two, you gotta always stay in your hollow here. We're not resting on the ground. Two, two, three, three, four. Oh, and then your brain gets to here. Fours, halfway, so easy. If you've done a Christmas special, probably still have some nightmares. You know that it is not halfway yet, not even close. When you get the cleans, a gentle landing onto the body. If you swing out and you're pulling them in, you're gonna get smashed every time. One, two, three, four. Four push ups. Chest to floor, don't rest your quads. I guess conditioning is allowed, but I don't really want that, so keep them strict. Let's say no conditioning, have to elevate up on something to make it strict. Full range of motion. Four, four. Five. 
And again, if you're tight, uh, no chance you're doing doubles. You gotta go single and single. Oh, push-ups getting harder after those presses. One, two, two, three. Find a pace that lets you go pretty much unbroken. A little breather before you start the set so you can go unbroken in the set. Swings we all know by now. Hip hinge, back straight and loaded. Power from the hips. Get some blood back. Oh. Perfect form, I'm judging you. Don't squeak out that last sloppy rep. Make them all perfect. Six, six. Okay, recover your breath. Seven and eight are the big rounds. Here we go. Why am I using 35s? To get all the primary colors looking nice on screen. Getting tough now. One, one, two, two, three. Seven, seven. Going at your own pace. Slow me down or speed me up. Eights, final round. Uh. Here we go. 
Water break breather after this. <sighs> Bell's always in front. Dumbbells are of course gonna look different. Remember, stand tall, no overarching. Oh, whoa, push ups are going to be tough. Whoa, warm up. I'm warm. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, down to floor. Best push ups you got. taps five five six six seven seven eight eight done oh I'm just gonna sit right here water break breather back for four sets Get your deadlift, deadlift implement ready. Light dumbbell flies. Remember, you can do this on the ground, on a ball, on your foot rest, or on a bench. And then more mat for a V sit. And right here, I'm gonna do my towel slide crunch. Okay, back for part two, four sets, 10 reps. First set deadlift, I'm just using the kettlebells and the band like I've been showing because it is brutal. And remember our weight rule, you don't have to go heavier if you go slower. So you know how to modify to make what you have at home just as tough as everyone else doing it. So I'm in a big sumo here. This band is ice cold, so these are gonna, these are gonna bite. Here we go, 10 reps. Brace, breath. there. I'm done with that. Going to go to barbell next set. Ooh. Okay, pec fly. I'm just going to go off the ball. Same thing as the bench. No problem. I'm just using 20 pound dumbbells. And remember, you don't have to go heavy on a fly. Just go slower. Still catching my breath from those deadlifts. Holy crap. First set always test your range. Leaning back center on the ball. I can glute bridge to make it a flat bench. Didn't lock that one. Uh, two, and I like to turn the palms in and squeeze the corners of the dumbbells together. Uh, uh, three, four, no rushing pec fly. Five, we want time under tension here. Uh, try to catch your breath from the deadlifts. Uh, right. 
nice and slow. And good squeeze. And then down. Okay. And then core in front. Again, if you don't have your towel slide set up, you can just do double the reps of the V-sit. We're losing, staring over our toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, keep going to 20. I'm gonna flip over into my slide position here, slide set up. Let's put the hands on the edge of the mat. 10 good knee tucks. One, two, use your abs. Three to pull it in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Whoa. Okay. End of set one. I'm going to set up a barbell deadlift, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, set two, everything the same. Keep your tempo slow enough to make that 10 reps the legit rep. Don't just blitz through making an easy 10. You gotta almost fail at 10. So it's weight up or speed, slower. Everything's the same for me except for the 185 deadlift now. Here we go, conventional stance. Breath brace. Nice and quiet. Don't wake up the baby. Are you gonna roll? No, you're gonna stay right there. Woo! Little lightheaded. Whoa, baby. Get your dumbbells for fly ready. Oh. Laying down, this is where you get to recover from the deadlift. Ooh. Same 20s going up. Maybe I'll we'll do these incline by keeping my butt down this time. Links in the description, guys. Get that slam ball. You can do a million moves slam ball, and it's the poor person bench. Maybe after 50 workouts, I'll start doing slam ball exercises too. I'll just spoon force you guys to start getting equipment. <sighs> Gonna go slower. <sighs> Big squeeze and down. <sighs> if you can't see what I'm doing on those flies, I'm coming up. Turning the thumbs out and squeezing either your hands or the dumbbells uh, together. It really fires that upper upper pec line. Okay, V-sits. Uh, or core of your choice. 10 rep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing here, I can say just slow it down. Seven, eight, or speed is your intensity dial. Anyone just saying, oh, these workouts are too, too easy. I doubt anyone's saying that, but just go slower at the reps. Just make it last longer. Make it hurt more. One. So 10 more freestyle core, or you're doing the towel sliders with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Uh. Okay, quick weight up on the deadlift. 
Water break breather back for set three in a sec. We're cruising. Okay, set three, no more lecturing on speed and time under tension. 225 deadlifts and I jumped up to 25 pound dumbbells for the fly. Here we go. Perfect reps. Oh, that was a hard put down. Grip was going. You stay out there. Stay. Stay. Ah, you're going to roll. Okay, peck fly. Chest fly. Uh, how did I do this last set? Oh, there you're staying. Okay. Glute bridge, flat chest line. These could just be wide grip push ups if you had to. You could do some nasty stuff with push-up position towel slides on the hardwood floor. Your hand slides out. Oh, one more lecture. If you're used to just going one, two, three, four, five on all your reps, you are losing the fitness game. That is not the goal. That's being a rep counter, not a fatigue feeler. Core. Flipping over. Setting up. Nine, whoa. Set four coming up. Last set and we're done. Okay, set four, nothing's changed. I'll just set up sumo to match all everyone going sumo at home. Let's do this and we're out of here. Not too quick though. Big sumo stance. Get that bar a little straighter. Hands come straight down underneath the shoulders. Still trying to find some knurling there. Eyes on horizon. Damn you. Okay. 
Catch your breath. It's got to feel that intense, like you just came off 10 burpees. You got to earn, earn your day off tomorrow. Ball lets you go way more range of motion as well. Keep your glutes firing, push with your heels. Remember I said I don't give away what time of year it is, but I'm just gonna say it's so cold in here, this ball is like a ho frozen hockey puck. There's no rubber tactile grip. Whoa. I might start having to do the workouts with the heater running in the background. So maybe I'll do a test set and see how loud it actually sounds humming away. Cause I'm starting to see my breath and barbells are very cold in Canadian winters. Finish off with your core. And I'll wrap it up. Ten. Flipping this over. Okay. Ten final reps. That is it. Woo, 46 done, 47, 48, 49. We learned our lesson from reduced to simmer and cruise control workouts. Just gotta pay to play. We're just in it, staying safe, working our way to that 50th workout. Share this around, share it with people, tell people you're doing it, see if they notice. Get them all going, see you back for 47.